So as a collective and as individuals, we are in a state of peak disconnection, disconnection from our communities, from the natural environment, disconnection from our own bodies and even our own souls. And we have also manifested a capitalistic industrial system that is profiting from that disconnection. It's profiting from the fact that we no longer have a connection to our own intuitive drive, to a sense of what is in alignment for us, which is by definition always in alignment for the collective, right? And it's not because, you know, the pharmaceutical industry is comprised of, you know, evil, you know, overlords. It's simply because this is an expression of our disconnection. It's almost like the industry itself is a symptom of what is off about our consciousness, right? And you can see that in all of the ways that we refuse to relate to any element of our own shadow, our own darkness, right? And we are, we are fixated on, on dirtiness, as being an external phenomenon we need to fight, right? So whether that's our obsession with germs and, you know, infectious plagues and epidemics or, you know, this, this focus on um, vaccination, this focus on, you know, people who are fundamentally lesser because they represent a dirtier version of who we want to be, or we think we want to be. I mean, look through our history when it comes to, you know, horrendous acts of, uh, oppression, um, ethnic racial oppression. It's often because we perceive and conceive of these, um, you know, populations as being dirty. And what is that about? It's really about this notion that we have been enculturated to believe that good is something we can embody with purity and it it's to the exclusion of the badness. And this lack of nuance keeps us divided. It keeps us seeing our own dark parts as coming from outside us. And then we fight those, right? And so this is what our medical system ultimately is predicated upon is the idea that you are rightfully at war with diseases, genes, germs that are doing to you symptoms, right? Instead of these being a manifest expression of who it is that you are at that moment and that you yourself are a manifest expression of cosmic consciousness, right? So that hasn't penetrated, right? Because we are just now reconciling the ways in which we've been living at a more limited uh, mindset than we are capable of and accessing such a limited version of our power as human beings. So every single individual has the capacity to relate to their symptoms and their disease labels and their struggles without fear. It is possible. And the most important ingredient for living fearlessly when it comes to your health and wellness and anything that might cross your path, any symptom, is curiosity. If you can first turn towards what you're experiencing with a question that sounds something like, wow, I wonder what this is about you will immediately align your nervous system with a state of regeneration that itself will facilitate the healing that is largely inevitable anyway, right? And so it's that curiosity that speaks to the universe that you want to know more about yourself. You want to know what it is that this symptom is telling you. Is it telling you about a misalignment in your diet, in your, you know, physical activity, in your sleep behaviors, a misalignment in relationships? Um, is it telling you that something you've been exposed to is just not right for you, right? 
that curiosity is going to take you to the answer. It will be revealed to you. And no one knows the answer but you. You're the only one. So the only kind of support you should ever seek is support that confirms and affirms your authority over yourself.